Good morning, everybody. It is eight o'clock in the morning on December the 19th. We have five calls, three no heat calls, one estimate on some new duct work she wants, and then the other one is a two system maintenance checkup on two 10 ton package units on the ground at a family dollar. So we're gonna go see about these calls. We are getting ready to pull up on one of the no heat calls right now. And uh, hopefully we can get some film on at least one of these, if not multiples. But we will see what we can film. So stay tuned and enjoy. Let me make sure that there's even a, a heat strip in here. Yeah, I see a breaker, so there should be a heat strip in here. Yeah, there's a heat strip. Cool. They put one screw in the heat strip. Jesus Christ. Man, whoever she hired to do this has no business being in the heat and air business. I thought they had new y'all. Like, no. Oh no, I have nothing to do with the landlord. Your your brother called me. Uh Yeah. Your No. Oh, it was the landlord. Oh, okay. Well then, I guess the landlord did call me then. I guess they got tired of their people, but I okay, good. I'm going to I'm going to tell them what a Pardon my French, what a shit job they did. Exactly. Damn, man, I didn't know it was supposed to rain. There's no screws in the heat kit. One screw in the heat kit. W wire was never hooked up. This is a Sure Comfort unit, which is a ream, ream and rude. Oh, there's one right there. They just, they capped off the two whites. <sighs> no tape on the plenum. No screws on the plenum. There's no tape on the plenum and no screws in the plenum. I can move the plenum freely with my hands.
Look at the expansion valve bulb. Look. Look at that. That's the expansion valve bulb. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm tying in some low voltage. All right, they had red and green crossed. So I'm gonna go check the thermostat. Yeah, they got it right. calling for heat this looks like a 10 kW yeah oh it's not grounded the unit's not grounded either they didn't hook the ground wire up let me do that I smell them. Oh yeah, we got 43 amps. grounded so I just extended the ground wire so that I can ground it oh 
Unbelievable. Okay. Then it's grounded. Look at this plenum. Look at that. Look. Look at the gap over here. Look at that big old gap. Leaking air like a sum of you know what. Look. Look at that. Look how I can move the plenum. Alright. He needs a quote on some work done over here. I'm going to put the top cover back on and I'm going to at least secure that uh, that bulb the correct way. But 10KW is working. I'm gonna have to secure it with zip ties, but at least it'll be secured right. Where it's actually reading temperature. going to do anything else to this unit without submitting a quote the plenum needs to be secured freon needs to be checked but at least now the damn thing can read temperature it needs to be insulated too But it's pouring down rain outside. I'm not going to dig out rubber techs behind my truck today. Look at this drain. How you like that mobile home flex drain? Runs through and comes down here into the sewer. How you like that? Go ask her if she if she smells and feels the heat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. But it 
he needs some more. I mean, it's full of air leaks right here. I can feel the air leaking out right here. The air's leaking out here. Whoever put this unit in, they, they need to be, uh, they should be outlawed from heating and air. I mean, I hate to say that, but that's, it's the truth. They have no business doing heat and air. I feel, I, you know, the fact, yeah, the fact that they paid somebody to do this is just, that they paid the guy is just ridiculous. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I got y'all some heat, but I mean, like that drain pipe, that's that, I mean, that's just unbelievable. Yeah. I, I don't know how that hasn't been leaking all over the floor. You live here with him? You've never heard him complain about water leaking on the floor from his AC? No, he just moved in. Oh, he just moved in, okay. Oh, oh. Okay, well, I, I, I'll tell the landlord and ask the landlord if they've ever had water leaking issues. Okay, guys, I know that was a short video and probably boring, but I had to film that for y'all. That, you wanna talk about hack work, hack jobs? That was a hack job. So, there's, they called for no heat because the place has been empty for a while. It was installed in 2021. And, the, and uh, the landlord called me and the tenant was here. And he's like, dude, I moved in two weeks ago and it, every time I turn the heat on, it never works. So I go in there and it's a Sure Air Handler, which is a Ream Rude with a Rude condenser. I don't know why they used a Sure Air Handler. That's probably all they had in stock. And uh, the white wire was never hooked up. They capped the two white ones from the factory. Um, so I hooked that up and then they had the green thermostat wire on, on the red wire from the unit and then the red wire from the thermostat on the green from the unit. So I swapped those. Uh, they had the condenser hooked up right. So that was about the only thing they had hooked up right. The plenum has no tape, no screws, nothing. Like you can just freely move the plenum. The drain line is a mobile home flexible drain line that it, that is not sealed in any kind of way with glue or nothing. It will leak like a sieve. Um, the y'all saw the expansion valve bulb. It was just zip tied and dangling. It wasn't even touching the copper to read temperature. I did at least fix that to the best of my ability because y'all can see it is pouring down rain i probably have a clamp but i wasn't gonna stand out in the rain and dig for a clamp first of all i'm not doing any of those repairs until i call the landlord and ask him you know if he was crazy for paying the people that put that in and the outdoor unit it, it's all off level and everything it needs to be moved away from the house leveled up so i you know it's uh It's a horrible install. Uh, I mean, you get what you pay for, and I mean, he probably got a sweet price, and but he didn't get no sweet, no sweet install. I tell you that. But uh, but I, I I at least got the heat on because this doesn't happen often in Louisiana, and it's it's electric heat. It's not a heat pump. It this doesn't happen often in Louisiana, but we're supposed to get down into the teens in the next few days you know for christmas and all that so i wanted to get the heat on and i did get i did achieve that i got the heat on but i didn't tape the plenum none of that and y'all could say oh blah, blah. no i'm not doing that i'm about to get in my notebook i'm about to make a list of stuff that needs to be done i'm gonna i'm gonna call the landlord and tell him what needs to be done and if if he approves my price then i'll come back out here secure the plenum fasten it to the unit tape it do the expansion valve bulb with a clamp, insulate it, 
all that good stuff, but I'm not doing none of that until it's approved. All I did today was uh was get the heat on. That's it. That's all I did. But that's a hack job. Big time. So thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.